Good morning, Baker Montessori. Today is Monday, May 9th, the 155th day of school. Classrooms, let's prepare for our pledges. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Today's announcements. Announcements for Monday, May 9th, the 155th day of school. Today is day two of ancillary for upper elementary. Again, it is day two of ancillary for upper elementary. Staff, please read the Monday memo for updates and reminders for this week. This week is a busy testing week for Baker. This week, in addition to star testing, we also have high frequency word retest. We have our end of year screeners for pre-K through second grade, and we have snapshots for first and second grade. Students, we encourage you to do your best on all your tests throughout this week. Use all of your strategies, take your time, and use your time wisely. The virtue of the week. The virtue of the week is friendship. A friend is a person that someone likes or knows. People who are friends talk to each other and spend time together. They also help each other when they're in trouble or hurt. Friends are people that can be looked up to and trusted. Good friends remember important things like birthdays and accomplishments. Good friends are reliable. Good friends do kind things for one another and use kind language. Good friends help out when a friend is sad or has a problem. Good friends like to spend time together and good friends have fun with one another. This week, we challenge you to be a good friend. Third through eighth graders, please stay tuned for a special message after these announcements. There are no further announcements for today. Wishing everyone a marvelous Monday full of learning and fun. Go Bobcats! Welcome back third through eighth grade students. It is now time for me to issue this year's Star Challenge. We have set goals and now we would like to acknowledge when we have met those goals. So again, STAR begins this week. Here is our testing schedule for the week. We'll start with math this week and science, followed by reading and social studies next week. And here's what we need you to do. Here are our STAR reminders. Have a growth mindset and a positive attitude. Tell yourself, I am prepared and I will do my best on this test. Go to sleep at a reasonable time to get a good night's rest before the test. Get up early enough to avoid rushing to get ready for school. Eat a healthy breakfast. During the test, relax, take a deep breath, and think positive thoughts. Listen carefully to any directions. Read each question carefully. Identify key words. Think about what the question is really asking. Read the entire question and all of the answer choices. Apply all of the strategies that you have learned in class to figure out the answer. Also, make sure if your teacher sent an accommodation bag that you use all of the tools that you've been trained to use in class. Make sure you use every tool on the test. Be sure to pick the best answer. Recheck your answer before moving on to the next question. And don't rush. Use your time wisely. The test is on a computer, so make sure you're using your time wisely. You're picking the correct answers. You are reading carefully, and you're not just clicking through the test. And now, after those reminders, we have our STAR Challenge. So once again, once we reach the goals that you set with your teacher and we've met our school-wide goal, we will have a time to acknowledge you meeting those goals. So our first STAR Challenge is for participation. This simply means that all students in third through eighth grade show up for the test. When you show up to all of your tests, you earn a ticket to the Baker Sock Hop. 
So those of you not familiar with the sock hop, it is a time where we all come together in the gym. We are able to play music with a live DJ and then you dance the afternoon away. Our next goal is if we meet our school wide goal. You earn a ticket to the staff versus eight grade kickball game. Again, if all of our students show up for the test in third through eighth grade, if we've met the school wide goals we've set for the number of students pass, then we will have a staff versus eighth grade kickball game and all students in third through eighth grade are invited to attend and watch the game. And we'll be looking for some staff members to be on our team for that kickball game. Our next star challenge, if you meet your growth goal, so in addition to passing at approaches, meets masters on star, or if you meet your star growth goal that you've been talking about with your classroom teacher, you will earn a water balloon for each test that you pass or meet your star growth goal. So if you reach approaches, meets masters, or if you meet your growth goal, for each test you took, whether it's reading, math, science, or social studies, you earn one water balloon. So I think the next question is, well, what do we do with the water balloons? You will use your water balloons for the water balloon challenge. And I'll explain that to you next. The water balloon challenge. All of the leadership team at Baker is rooting for you. We want all of our students to show up and to just do your best. We know you can do that. So again, if you reach your goal of approaches meets masters or your star growth goal that you have set with your teacher, then you earn a balloon. So a third grader could earn a balloon for reading and math. An eighth grader could earn a balloon for reading, math, science, and social studies. So what do you do with those balloons? Well, I've gathered up some of the leaders of the leadership team and they have agreed that if you meet your goal, you're able to toss those balloons gently at the leadership team. And you also are able to choose who you would like to gently toss your balloons at. So you could possibly choose Dr. Parrish. You could possibly choose Miss Osby. You could possibly choose Ms. Kuzan, or you could possibly choose Dean Perkins. And so if you are an eighth grader and you have taken all of your four tests, you could actually use your balloon one for Dr. Parrish, our counselor. You could use your second one for Ms. Osby, our intervention specialist. You could use one for Ms. Kuzan, who is our wraparound specialist. Or you could use your last water balloon for Dean Perkins, who is our magnet coordinator. Oh, did I forget something? Oh, I forgot myself, huh? So I will go ahead and include myself in the challenge. And again, maybe you're a third grader and you meet your reading goal and your math goal. And you may decide you actually do want to toss gently, toss your water balloon at Principal Salvador. And then you can pick any other staff member, or maybe you've saved up all your balloons for our school counselor, Dr. Parrish, or maybe our wraparound specialist, Ms. Kuzan, but it's up to you once you've earned your balloons. So we are willing to go through with that water balloon challenge for any student who meets their growth goal or meets their goal of passing on the test. So again, we just want to wish you well, we can do this together. We believe in you and we will be coming around to wish you well as you start your testing on Tuesday. Thank you for listening. Have a marvelous Monday full of learning and fun. Go Bobcats!